Nick Fiorenza, Europe editor of Jane's Defense Weekly, and I've got Lars uh, Serfang from Kongsberg, who's going to explain to us how the Black Hornet UAV is being integrated into uh, vehicles. So what we have developed is something called the Integrated Combat Solution, and it's a digital backbone for any vehicle. And it fits in, it can retrofit into old vehicles or it can be the digital backbone for all new vehicles. So what we've done is that there's a lot of questions about how can we utilize flying UAVs as part of the weapons. So what we've done is that we integrated the Black Hornet UAV as part of the weapon system. So being enabled to cross queue in between the platforms. So if you have an RWS and you have a main cannon, it's so like on the Patria vehicle here at Eurosatora, we have a 30 millimeter uh, turret and we have an RWS on top. Those two are combined, so the gunner and the commander can give each other targets and slew onto those targets in between. And the ICS also enables us to network sharing targets in between platforms. So how can we utilize actually airspace? So what we've done is that we integrated the Black Hornet uh, in this exhibition is the Black Hornet 3, new one which is being released on this exhibition. And what you can do is that the vehicle commander on the VRS concept, which we're going to talk about a little bit later, is that you can open the hatch, release a Black Hornet from the vehicle, still be under hatched. It's being done from the top of the vehicle. You can send it out and you can either fly it by point to point on your BMS system, or you can fly it manually by the hand controller. And what you can do is that you can do uh, either reconnaissance, where you fly the drone in to see targets. If you find something that you want to engage or you want to share that information in between the platforms, you actually just press it and make it an ICS target, which is then will be enabled on the network. And then any gunner or commander in the platoon can take that target and actually slew the weapon system onto it. So you can do beyond horizon engagement, where you actually send out the drone, pick out the targets, slew two, and then break the horizon and engage the targets. And of course, if you have been in a firefight and you want to do battle damage assessment, you can have that as an active ICS target, send out the drone, and then start maneuvering to see if you actually hit the target or what kind of damage you've done. And we're talking not only about uh, infantry fighting uh, vehicles, uh, but smaller and larger vehicles too, I think. Yes, you can integrate it towards any vehicle. And here we have a quite large setup but you can make it smaller with just one display and one computer as well. Mm. And we also can integrate towards main battle tanks, uh, like uh, small UGVs, and basically anything. Okay, so this is the Patria AMV vehicle, which is being uh, relaunched at this uh, exhibition. And what we've done is that we integrated the combat uh, solution, which I showed you on our stand. It's located inside the whole vehicle, and we also put in the VRS box, which is the vehicle reconnaissance system. And the box is made by FLIR and it enables you to have four Black Hornet drones in one vehicle. So this is an unmanned turret made by Kongsberg and you can still release the Black Hornet uh, by use of the VRS box. So you don't have to expose yourself before releasing the, the Black Hornet drone.